Hello everyone and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Coming to you on location in Hell itself. More specifically, the Devil's Armpit is where we are right now. That, that is the level of heat that we are still experiencing. So, uh, <laughs> as, as with the last couple of parts, there's going to be another shorter session split into two shorter than usual parts. Usual for Mass Effect. More like my regular part size for all series other than Mass Effect, but uh, that is that is what's going on at the moment. Uh, I should probably do some Codex Heart at the end of this session as well. I feel like it's been a while since we hit up the Codex. Um, right, so what were we doing? Uh, in the last session, we did the first of the Firewalker, Project Firewalker missions, which gave us a new vehicle. Not the Mako, but the Hammerhead. And... It's like the Mako, if the Mako did, like, five lines of coke, and then ripped a fat bong, and then injected some concoction straight into its veins. It's, it's, it's absolutely insane. So, what have we got? We've got Geth Incursion. Data reveals Dr. Case was interested in the anomalous weather patterns on the planet Latesh. He had scattered probes on the planet's surface in the hope that the unnatural atmospheric conditions might be related to Prothean technology. If Cerberus could recover the data from those probes, it could shed light on Dr. Case's research. That's the first one. Uh, next up, survey sites located. Data shows Dr. Case has stopped on planet Korang to run tests on artifacts found on the planet's surface. Recovering the data he collected could lead Cerberus to discover Dr. Case's last known location. And Volcano Station. Data taken from Ziona reveals that Dr. Case established a research station deep inside an active volcano on the planet Karu Karum Karumto. Karumto. Dr. Case believed that the volcano hides an extensive Prothean ruin. Whether his hunch was true or not, the station should contain data that will lead to Dr. Case's whereabouts. Caution is advised. Well, I mean, might as well just go down the list. Uh, start from the top. Latesh, Chomos System, Phoenix Massing. Geth Incursion. Is it going to show me on the map where that is? Whee! Only half our fuel remains. Don't worry, I got this. Blob, 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 blob. We fall. Aight, 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 Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Geth incursion, over here. The Phoenix Massing. Uh, this one? I think it was this one? So much shit scattered around. Kind of hard to tell. Yes, Geth incursion over that way. But first, you know what time it is. It's scan for minerals time. Everyone's favorite time. Everyone's fucking absolute mwah, chef's kiss of a time. What have we got? We've got a poor, poor planet. What are you going to do? Things look bad for you. Hey, what you going to do? In the words of someone talking to Joseph. Uh, wait, scan anyway. Scan, scan, wait, scan anyway. That's assuming it's poor. It's not even poor, it's rich. The heat is already affecting me. No! No! Brain function is diminished! Oh! Launching probe. Oh good, are we gonna have this situation like last time where the rich planet has fuck all on it? Oh! Okay, that's a... Girthy spike. Launching probe. Away. The fuck was that? Am I going insane or Probe launched? Probe away. 
I thought I heard some kind of ping around here. I may be going nuts. It's plausible. That was weird. I swear I heard some ping that is not like... Oh, whatever. Whatever. Uh, nothing to read. Rich again. Launching probe. Probe launched. You can now afford the medbay upgrade research project. Awesome. Probe. Awesome. Can't wait to never buy it. Because you know, I choose the paragon options. The ones that don't make you look evil. Think think Bioware was given any hints there? We're gonna put a Paragon Renegade system in the game. It's definitely not good or bad, guys. It's definitely not good or bad. However, if you choose Renegade, we will literally make you look evil. But no, it's definitely not good or bad. <laughs> Uh, that's 100%. Uh... Wait, no, that's the other DLC. That's the other DLC. We'll be over there at a later date. For now... We're over here. Oh, thank God, there's only one planet to scan. Wait, and the other one, but... <laughs> one, one non... Uh, mission planet. Uh, fuck all to read. Only mor moderate and ezo. Nozo. Latesh. Anomaly detected. Boop. 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 Probe launched. I have found Got something. Planetary scans detect signals from sensor pods left on the planet's surface. These pods may contain valuable data. Warning, surface temperatures are extremely low. Advise keeping hammerhead exposure to the cold at an absolute minimal. Okay, any ESO? It's still a no. Off we trot. Um, does it make a fat lot of difference who we take if we're just going to be in the car the whole time? Who knows? Whatever. Let's just bring these two fun time pals along. Uh, Jack. Let's give you that. And same as Samara. Let's give you the field. And then I guess we will wait for that. Uh, do we want to give you the scimitar? I guess so. Sure. Sure. Warning. Prolonged exposure to extreme temperatures may degrade engine performance. Oh shit, Mission okay. Objectives located. Engine temperature normal. Wait, where do I hide from? Will doing this like reset me? Atmospheric data acquired. It does a little. Stabilizing. It does a little reset me. Okay. So we're just fucking blasting through this then. Caution. Engine temperature falling. I see that. I get it, mate. You don't need to say it every time. Extraction complete. 
Extraction complete. Warning. Engine temperature falling. What the fuck is that over there? Warning. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. Extraction complete. Caution. Engine temperature falling. Okay, towards the beam of light. It is the patented beam of light from the end of every Warning. superhero movie. Engine temperature below recommended parameters. Well, thankfully not anymore. There was a good period of time where Extraction complete. the old beam of light into Engine the sky falling. was a real fucking classic in the superhero genre. Wasn't a real superhero film if it didn't end with a beam of light in the sky. You piece of shit! Never mind, we got it! Extraction complete. I believe we've done it. Sure. <laughs> these these missions are very blink and you miss them. Found all ten nodes. Woo! I'm the best around. Nothing's ever gonna take me down. Oh no. Oh no. What? You're too small. With the wrong your. I am sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. Do you fear those words? Morland's famous shop sells many enhancements online that are not restricted by Citadel trading regulations. I see. He's selling dick extensions. <laughs> Whether you require hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancement, or gene biotic xenografting, Morland has many things you'll be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Morland's famous extranet site, hotlinked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. All limit zero products require shipping surcharge. No shipping to Omega Krogan reproductive organs not available. Other restrictions may apply. Therapy from Ola Han. Shepard, they say you're alive, that you cheated death. That sending you this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill, if my information did any good. They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. Why me and not her? Why did you show up then, not before? They think that they can fix me. But maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open, to give her a chance, and the Rachni ripped my suit open, and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr. And this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you. That would probably hold more weight if I had a fucking clue who Han Ola was. Obviously someone from the Peak 15 mission on Novaria, but uh, could not tell you who Han Ola was. Uh, atmospheric data received. Commander, a very capable team, is analysing the data you gathered from the Geth's research into atmospheric change. We hope it may open new avenues for terraforming procedures for future colonies. The tech used in the beacons also contains communication innovations that should help us develop better systems to reduce atmospheric noise. There is no evidence of protein activity on this planet. I. Oh, joke master. Master of the joke -eth. Tell me your thoughts, my dude. Commander, what do you think about the people we're picking well, up? Well, about the ones you... I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. 
And huh. Thane seems like the strong, sensitive. Okay, we've heard the Thane one. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to. That's it for now. It was commander. just a Jack one we hadn't heard. Um. Oh. Tully Treason. Hello. Tully has a personal matter she wishes to discuss. Yes. What about you, Kelly? How may I help you, Commander? Uh, that'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Nothing new. Treason, my girl. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. What? I'm scared, Shepard. They accused you of treason? I thought we'd be helping someone else. What? Eh? Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Always. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. Okay, so what's the no actual idea issue? what they're accusing me of. Oh. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. Probably. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. That seems like a really fucking dumb way to go about it, because... If she was told, if they told her what the actual accusation was now, then she could gather evidence and prepare to mount a defense and all that. But if they're not telling her until she gets there, then what if the evidence she needs is fucking, you know, way off back wherever she came from, and now she can't go get it because she's had to go to the flotilla? That seems very silly. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. I wonder if they choose to do that, whether the children... I feel like if I was brought up and my parents had not been uh, part of the fleet, and in fact had been exiled from the fleet, I'd be brought up thinking, man, the fleet, what a bunch of fucking pricks, and I would not want to join them. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The what? most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. Damn. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. Ha, <laughs> let's hope. We ain't having you dine on me. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Damn. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. 
I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. I've always Thank got you, time Shepard. for you. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The admirals will be waiting for us. I've always got time for second best girl. <laughs> Uh, no, I, I, I do love darling. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. Uh, we've done this already, Can right? Can do anything to give the Normandy an edge over My the shield plane? fortification yeah. will help. I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Wait, what the fuck? When Tali gets her mission... Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. What the fuck? Remember last time, when Samara got her mission, it didn't let me check the Normandy upgrades and stuff. It completely replaced it. But then on Tali's mission, it didn't completely replace it and gave me the option to still check it. So they can do that. They just didn't on Samara's mission. What are you doing, boy? I'll get back to you. Tell Why me. is your Talk fucking you dialogue wheel so scuffed? Oh my god. So Gabby, what do you think of our new quarry and force? Hush, she's right over there. Ah, she can't hear us with her head in that <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful bucket. The whole suit is lovely. Quite snug in all the right places. <laughs> you know I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, amazing. Amazing. Who's down this side? This is Grunt's side. He doesn't have anything more to say. Uh, is this Kasumi's side? No, this is... This is Big Man. Back for another lesson. Nice ship you got here. Rumi. Last ship I worked on, two men couldn't walk past each other in the hall unless they were really good friends. <laughs> That's such a funny way of saying that. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. Maybe. Do you want to fucking go and kill him? Because that would make the world a better place instantly. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. All right, but, but I hear there is more dialogue from the rifle. I was down and out when I found that gun. Jessie was the first weapon I got my hands on. Took her everywhere. She didn't have much punch, but reliable as all hell. She'd already been through a lot by the time I got her. Still, I never had to recite her once. Damn good rifle. Damn good. I remember Jesse's first kill. Torian arms dealer out of Omega. I ran through miles of filth and rust to hunt him down. When I finally cornered him, that gun was caked in two inches of the foulest sludge you can imagine. But Jesse wanted that Torian dead, so two shots. And he died right there. I killed my way across the Terminus systems with that gun. Seemed like Jesse wanted to kill more than I did. Bloodthirsty old bitch. I owe half my reputation to that weapon right there. Anytime someone calls me ruthless, relentless, they're talking about that rifle. <laughs> I don't take Jesse into battle anymore. Had to retire her about five years ago. I was hunting down this Batarian slaver. Forgot his name. Not important. Carved my way through a hundred Batarian mooks. I don't remember ejecting a clip once. Jesse just kept firing. Oh, you were probably playing Mass Effect slaver. 1. You didn't have to eject the clips there. So I went to blow him away and nothing. The old bitch had finally jammed. So I smashed his face in with the butt of the gun and called in the job. After that, Jesse couldn't be fixed. Nothing anyone could do. Like she finally had enough blood and was ready to rest. Been resting ever since. Oh, that's it? You just can't click anymore? Cool. What a wholesome story of one man and his gun. Don't suppose your fucking dialogue options suddenly reappeared or anything, has it? I hope we can go to Omega nope. soon. I'll think about that. Of Meanwhile. course. Nope! 
Nothing new from you. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. If you wish. The talk? last time we talked, you started speaking about a past event as if you were watching it. Drell have perfect memories. We can relive any moment in our lives with perfect clarity. It's difficult to control at times. Huh. Some of us disappear into, you know, let's call it solipsism. What do you mean solipsism? When a memory feels as real as life, it's as valid as life. Thinking about a moment brings back the smell of cut grass, the warmth of another's hand on yours, the taste of another's tongue in your mouth. Wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a memory than spend the night alone? Staring at walls of metal and plastic. Sure. Now, is this one of those situations where... Because, like, doing the solipsism investigation option has added two more things here. If I do this one, is that going to overwrite these? But then if I do these ones, is it going to fuck me and end the conversation? Like it has done before? Who knows with this dialogue wheel? It's... it's a fucking slot machine of what's gonna happen. You can remember everything that happened in your life? Nearly. I expect if we remembered the birth trauma, we'd never recover from it. Okay, they've just disappeared, so I just need to redo what this. What do you mean, solipsism? When a memory feels as... thinking of... wouldn't you rather lose yourself in such a sure. memory than spend the night alone? Isn't there a risk that you could lose yourself in bad memories as well? Of course. Remembering the times I've taken bullets is... unpleasant. But I can look at my knee and see it's not shattered. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. Isn't that a rather personal memory to talk about? Forgive me. Lately I've spent a great deal of time reviewing my life. I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable. Wait, is that the same one again? Isn't there a risk that you could lose of yourself? Course. The memories that are hard to escape are those of despair. You can relive every assassination you've ever made? In perfect detail. Every mistake I made. Every target's last breath. That sounds difficult. At any moment you could relive the guilt. Guilt? No. I've never felt any particular guilt about my contracts. My employers killed them. My body was only the tool. <laughs> if you kill a man with your gun, do you hold the gun responsible? Yeah, my gun doesn't have free will, my dude. My gun can't decide right from wrong. You clearly do. My soul does. But my body is merely flesh. Flesh whose reflexes were honed to kill. Drell minds are different from humans. We see our body as a vessel, and accept that it is not always under our control. What fucking insane justification. Your Honor, I didn't do the killing. My employer did, and used me, the person, as a tool. <laughs> so you don't assume any responsibility for the things you do. Not every action performed by my body is a result of conscious choices. I take responsibility for those that are. All you of your murdering is definitely conscious choices. Body. A spirit responsible for moral reasoning that lives on after the body's death. Our belief is just a bit more literal. The last time we talked, you remembered one of your assassinations. Something about sunset colored eyes? Yeah, that was the detail I latched onto as well. That time. Laser dot trembles on the skull. Spice on the spring wind. Sunset eyes, defiant in the scope. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and threw herself between me and the target. She couldn't see me, but she stared me down. Uh... It was odd that you just blurted that out. Just another vivid draw memory? Not... no. She was a vivid person. If I say that again... The last time we talked, you uh, remembered one of you. A bystander noticed my spotting laser and oh, threw herself between mind. me and the target. I thought it gave different options, me, but no. But she stared me down. Did you take the shot? Not that day. Not that day, okay. I should get back to my duties. Shepard, I appreciate these chats we have. You've spent a lot of your life alone, Thane. <laughs> Work fulfilled me. Reading. I barely spoke to anyone outside my family. It seems there will be no one to mourn me when I die. I'll mourn you, man. You're the only friend I've made in ten years. The rest of us lose as much as you do when you hold yourself apart. 
I found it difficult to sit in the ship's mess for meals. I'm used to keeping my back against a wall, facing the doors. I'm trying to relax, find my center. Do you need something? Anything you mind else? if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. That nice. I should go. I shall return to my meditations. I. I. Hey, got a minute? Always. The Normandy runs so quietly. I'm not used to hearing my footsteps when I walk. One of the girls in navigation thinks she might be pregnant. This, these are repeats. Even aboard a Cerberus vessel, life finds these a way. These are repeats. Uh, they're not going to have anything to say at the back there, are they? I don't think. All right. So, uh, she said the elusive man. Yeah. To speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. Can I just say fuck off and keep doing this? Uh, survey sites located. Well, shit. Is this gonna force me into another main mission? Is this gonna is this gonna do like it did with Horizon? I guess I have no option. Let's see. <laughs> 